What is going on everyone? James the Third Bass Slayer. So I'm out in the backyard today and I wanted to talk to you a little bit about moon phases and how it affects bass fishing. Um, I was out in the front yard the other day and I was barbecuing in the evening time and it was three days after a full moon and there were bugs and little gnats and all kinds of uh, mosquitoes, everything you can think of all over the place, man. They were flying everywhere. It almost looked like it was snowing outside. There were so many of them. Um, well, when I was done barbecuing, I came inside and I jumped on the computer and I went on Swimbait Universe on Facebook and there was a post on Swimbait Universe that was talking about when the biggest record sized bass have been caught uh, coinciding with moon phases. And it was a very eye-opening and like one of those um, explosion moments in your brain where like the puzzle pieces go together. I'm sure a lot of other people out there that are a lot better than me at fishing have already figured this stuff out. But for me to kind of figure it out in my own mind and actually understand the moon phases and like the, uh, the Bassmaster moon chart, I can now go on the Bassmaster moon chart and um, understand the uh, moon overhead and underfoot and all that stuff. I can understand it completely, but just like, I, I get it now, I, I totally get it. <clears throat> so what you got going on during the moon phases is you have, you got your full moons and you got your new moons. During the full moon, it's nice and bright outside. During the new moon, it's dark out. Um, the full moons will be up at night, so you'll have light at night. During the new moons, the new moon is always up during the daytime. So you'll have moon overhead during the day, during a new moon. And you'll have the moon overhead at night with the full moon. So then coming out of your full moon, you'll have what's called a waning gibbous. And that's when I was barbecuing the other night was during a waning gibbous, three days after a full moon. And there was stuff everywhere. So on the full moons and the new moons, you'll have the stuff hatch. All the little bugs and all the stuff will hatch and it'll give it a couple days and those things will get to size and then they start flying around and everything. Once the, all those little bugs start getting into the water, you got the little fish, the little fish will start eating those little bugs. The bluegill will start eating those. They start getting all in a frenzy and going feeding. Guess what the bass do? The bass follow suit, the bass start eating everything and next thing you know you have a feeding frenzy in the pond and it doesn't matter what you throw in the water, they're going to eat it. Um, those are some really great times to catch some fish. Um, going back and looking at mine, Richard, and Devin's biggest bass um, for urban bass layers, all of our biggest bass have came around new and full moons. Um, it's just coincidence. We happen to be out back uh, back in the day and catch a bunch of those big fish. But over the years of me keeping track of all this stuff. Uh, I figured it out that it was definitely around the full and new moons. Then I find some pages like uh, Tactical Bassin and uh, Informative Fisherman, and they got some really good stuff on the moon phases. And lo and behold, I was on to what they are talking about. Um, you'll have those moments in like fishing and things that you do in life where you'll figure something out that everybody else already knows, like the elites already know this stuff. But then like you have those light bulb moments and that's, that's how you get better. Um, figuring out what they call the waxing and the waning of the moon. That's when you'll have just a little sliver of light on the moon or a little bit of a sliver of darkness on the moon. Those are the biggest, uh, the best times to catch your biggest bass. And uh, what was it? A waxing crescent moon is your best bet to catch the biggest fish. Um, I'll put up this little chart here that I got off of Swimbait Universe. Now if you look at this chart, it will show you the different um, times when the biggest fish have been caught. And the waxing crescent, it, sh it shows was the best and produced the uh, most record sized fish. My thinking for that is because um, that's three days after a new moon. What happens after a new moon or during a new moon is the fish cannot see to eat. You got those really big bass and uh, they need light to feed. Just a little tiny bit of light will put a, uh, a little bit of a shine on whatever it is in the water and it'll make it so the fish can actually eat. So you'll have those uh, 
those days that are like three days after a new moon and you'll have a little bit of shine on the moon you'll see that little sliver of light and I can remember specifically being out and seeing the moon like that at some times when we've caught some really big bass you got to pay attention to what's going on around you the bugs the plants the birds the ducks if you really pay attention to all this stuff while you're out fishing nature will tell you what's going on it will literally tell you I've had days where we were out fishing and the, the ducks do like a, a laugh. It's like, a, ah, 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 and they sound like they're laughing at you. Those are our toughest days. When the ducks are laughing at you, you can't catch them. Um, I don't know what it is, man. Uh, you, you can catch fish anytime. You don't have to necessarily go off the moon phases. I haven't been able to get out and hit the moon phases like I would have liked to this year. Uh, last year, we did hook into an eight pounder and an 11 pounder. And those fish came around a waxing crescent moon. It was a few days after a new moon. And there was a couple really big fish that we found that weren't really locked onto beds. They were just like patrolling a giant area. And they were so worked up that when we, find, when we were throwing in on the bed that was in that area that female just those both those females they just came over locked on the beds and they were so worked up because it was just the right time to be on the water um, learn your moon phases um, what else could I say I used to keep a calendar and I used to write down everything I, I would write down the, the time of day I went fish where I went fishing the water clarity um, what it was like outside, how many fish I caught, if I even caught fish, what, like all of it. I used to write it all down and I, I still have the calendars and I went in there and I found a couple of them and I was looking over them and lo and behold, all my biggest fish were always around uh, new and full moons. My first big fish ever out of this one pond that I first started fishing, um, I caught it on my birthday and it was a full moon. Uh, it was in the evening time during October, uh, it was on October 20th, my birthday. And uh, Richard also caught his nine and a half pounder on my birthday, but it was uh, a year, I think it was the the next year he caught on my birthday uh, that nine and a half pounder, which was his personal best. So you get those times in the spring and the fall when those moon cycles really, really like matter, they super matter, especially in winter time when it's really cold out, moon phases are gonna really matter. If, if you're out there struggling for one bite, one big bite in the winter time, your best bet is those moon phases and to play them just right. If you play the moon phases right when everything's hatching and those fish know that whatever they're gonna eat has a full belly already because they've been eating stuff, the bass know all that stuff, they're pretty smart. They don't get big by being stupid. Um, anyways, so you pair all this stuff with the, the, the moon rises and the moon sets. Um, I hear a lot of people talking about the moon, fishing the moon rises and the moon sets and I understand why. It, it's a transition period from the fish going from like being in a stable to an unstable. If you're unstable, you're going to be more adept to, I guess, uh, chasing after something. If you're more safe, like in a stable situation, you're not going to like... If you've already fed and everything, you're not gonna be as hungry. But when you get those like situations that happen where you get the moon phases to change and everything just starts all of a sudden feeding because all this stuff hatches, it's almost like you smell somebody's barbecue and it's like you may be you may be full already, but uh, you, you're gonna go you you're still gonna want to taste that barbecue because it's you know I remember informative fishermen saying something about that you know, the whole barbecue. So uh, what else? Around those times, uh, you get all the bugs are hatching, which is food. With the food response, the big fish react. Uh, the crawdads and everything else, all the bait fish, everything are hatching around the moons. So that will all coincide with the big bass feeding. Um, like I said, they don't get dumb, or they don't get big by being dumb. They're really smart, the big ones, and they know when to eat. They don't have to eat all the time. They, they only have to eat once in a while and uh the real big ones they'll eat something big they'll eat another bass they'll eat a big bluegill or a trout or whatever they can get their mouths on giant shad shiners all that stuff man bass are opportunists they'll 
they'll eat ducks. I mean, just go look at the variety of fishing lures that are on the market. There's almost everything you can think of from a rat to a duck to a bird to a, a, a snail, a, a crawdad, a bass don't care, they'll eat it. Uh, I heard someone say a long time ago that if, if bass were big enough, they'd chase down a bass boat and they'd eat a bass boat because you can't run your bait fast enough to get it away from them. If they want to eat it, they'll eat it, man. Um, it is spring right now and we just came out of the full moon cycle. We are about six days out of the full moon cycle and I'm waiting for that new moon and that waxing crescent moon that's coming up in a, in a little bit here. Um, now that this light bulb went off in my head and I know how to specifically target what parts of the moon phases to hit and what times of the day to hit them. Springtime, you're either gonna wanna fish first thing in the morning when the fish, when you get that little bit of light the first thing in the morning and they can feed or you're gonna wait until the evening time when the water warms up and everything's out there been feeding and everything and then those big bass they they come back from eating in the morning if they had eaten in the morning they'll be out there searching for something to eat um springtime same thing um or i mean fall time same thing springtime you got a lot more shad and everything a lot more bluegill everything's spawning so you have a little bit of everything in the water in the fall time not as much shad you got more bluegill and you got crawdads so your best bait uh best bait option in the fall time would probably be like crawdads and bluegill so it depending also depending on if you're fishing in ponds or lakes this is more uh information for everybody but uh pond fishing mainly and shore fishing because that's what we do here is uh a lot of shore fishing a lot of pond fishing do have a little raft that i plan on getting out on the water a lot more Anyways, it's a little bit of video on the uh, moon phases, and I hope that information can help you guys out. I know there's some stuff that I'm missing here, and uh, if you guys have any questions on this, be free or feel free to ask in the comment section below, and I will answer any questions you have. Um, I've done this video like three or four times now, and I had to keep erasing it because uh, I know I'm missing some stuff. I almost would feel better if somebody was asking me these questions and I could answer them in front of the camera because I kind of get lost on the, the whole thing. But uh, yeah, I was out there barbecue and I saw all those flies, saw all the little bugs and I saw all the stuff going and I was like, Psh, light bulb went off, went inside, saw that post on Swimbait Universe and it was almost like, you know, everything was just kind of telling me, hey. <laughs> Anyways, Urban Bastlers, thank you guys for watching. Pay attention to those moon phases, and uh, you can use them to your advantage if you do it right. And you can uh, catch your biggest fish ever. And uh, if you guys do catch your biggest fish ever, tell us about it and leave us a comment down below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. Tell your friends about us. Um, if you guys want any of our lures, handmade, hand-painted lures, there's a whole bunch of stuff for sale on urbanbasslayers.com, all lowercase letters. Thank you guys that have been buying product off of us and keeping us going. All the money that we get back just goes right back into buying more lure blanks and more paint and more supplies to just keep this thing going. Who knows where it's going and uh, who knows where the page is going, but hopefully good things in the future. And love you guys. Take care of yourselves. Get out there and fish. Take care of your mental uh, stability and all that stuff. Have fun with your life. Get out there and fish. Love you guys.